Let's learn how we can start automatically creating tweets like this, where we have a personalized tweet that's about the video, the link to the actual video itself, timestamps for the video, a thumbnail to the video, all done automatically when you schedule on YouTube. Let's do it. Let me show you how I set up that automation so we can automatically follow any YouTube channel or our own YouTube channel. A new video is posted, and when that new video is posted, we automatically make a tweet. Sound good? Let's jump in. We get started here, we'll jump over to Zapier, say create new Zap. Now one thing you noticed in that tweet was not only were we able to create a custom description of that video, it had context of what even the video was, but also we were able to get timestamps. In order to do this, we're gonna leverage a new software here called Bump Ups. With this Bump Ups integration here, we're able to access any YouTube video and do whatever we want with it. Whether that is sending a chat to it, so think of it like a chat GBT chat, you're just prompting at it, or generating timestamps, creative descriptions, and there's gonna be a bunch of more stuff that you can do with this kind of tool. For now though, let's go to integrate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this app to YT Tweet, maybe YTX, because it's X now. So we'll say YTX, <laughs> formerly Twitter. I'll make sure I leave this automation in the description down below as well. So I'll share it, you can click it, add it to your project for free. The trigger, obviously, because we are basing this off YouTube, it's gonna be YouTube. And what's really cool about YouTube here is we're able to do a bunch of different action events when it comes to a new video. Therefore, in theory, we could set up this automation to follow any YouTube channel. It doesn't just have to be your own. So for example, we can just do new video, or we can do new video and channel, or new video by search, or new video and playlist. For the sake of this video, we'll do new video and channel, assuming that we set up this automation so that anytime you upload on your YouTube channel, it will automatically exit. Is that what it's called nowadays, exiting? I'm, I'm not too sure. We're gonna continue. The channel name is actually gonna be your ID. Don't do like the at whatever your username is. It's gonna be your channel ID. To find this, typically you can just type in like YouTube channel ID finder. Like straight up just going to Google and typing YouTube channel ID finder and clicking something like this. So I went ahead and found my channel ID right here and we are good to go. So we're gonna test this trigger. With the current way Zapier integrates with YouTube, what you'll notice is that we get very limited information about the video. So we'll get the title. We'll get the underlying description coming down here. We'll also get stuff like the URL for the thumbnail or the actual link to the video. So let's go ahead and see how we kind of mash this all together and leverage it. So the very first action we're going to do is let's first off get the timestamps for the video, right? It's always helpful when watching a video to have timestamps so you know what the heck's going on. So to do this, we're going to type in bump ups. Click bump ups here. We're going to choose the event of generate timestamps. We hit continue. And all we need to do is put in the URL of the video. That's it. So we come down here embedded URL. You'll notice that we have currently one model here, a bump 1.0. That's the model that's gonna be analyzing the video for these timestamps. You get to choose your language as well. So if you don't want an English output, you can ask for a Spanish output, a Portuguese output, et cetera. And then the style of timestamps is up to your preference, whether you like really short timestamps or very long timestamps for description. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description down below that shows you how to actually integrate bump ups with an API key. So it's very simple and you get the actions right away. Also, to maybe answer some of your questions right off the bat, yes, this is going to work with other types of URLs in the future. Whether you want to put an X URL there, a LinkedIn URL, or maybe good old-fashioned Facebook. If you're still using Facebook, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get back to the video. With this done, we're going to continue here and test this step. Taking a step back, we actually want to choose the YouTube.com URL, not the embed URL. The embed URL, what that's used for is typically when you just go to a random website and you see that nice little YouTube video like that's integrated or I guess shown in the webpage, that's the purpose of the embed URL. For us, make sure you select youtube.com URL. We are generating timestamps with the bump 1.0 model. And here we go with the simple addition of just a URL, we got our whole timestamp list here. Pretty cool stuff here. We get two different types of outputs, whether you want to do a timestamp list or alternatively a timestamp string, just different ways of formatting it. Notice how we separated the data points here, which we'll leverage later. Let's go ahead and add a step here. We'll do another bump up step. Now, what's also cool about bump ups is we kind of have a free form prompt we can actually ask the video for our X tweet. This free form prompting, just think of it like any type of chat you've ever had with an AI model. This is just a AI model specializer video. So I'm gonna add the URL here of the youtube.com. We're gonna keep our models here. We'll keep the language of English. The format will do a text output. And we're gonna say this. I'm gonna go ahead and prompt it and say context. This is a new video on my channel titled, and then I can provide the data from the trigger, which is the title of the YouTube video. Based on what you see in the video, generate a good tweet that will engage the user to watch the video. Pretty cool. Format, max of two sentences, just a tweet, no text before or after. This helps with scaling when doing a ton of different tweets. This should be good to go. We're gonna continue here and test this action. What I'm expecting here is the bump model to watch the video, get context of what's actually happening in the video, and give me a very lasered in tweet to it. 
test app. And the video I uploaded had to do with refractoring code. I know it's a, it's a little nerdy, okay? It's a whole separate topic that I do on this channel. This is actually pretty spot on though. Stop drowning in huge React files. Learn to refractor your code into clean parent-child components and slash redundant Firestore reads in one go. Watch how AI-powered refractoring can level up your front-end game in minutes. For context, this is the video right here. And as you'll notice, is we'll identify important skill for AI coding refractoring code, but that's it. That's the only additional context this chat had. But will you notice in the tweet, we reference React files, Firestore reads, and everything that's actually identified in the video itself. Pretty cool. So now that we have that, let's go to the last step of the puzzle here, which will be a buffer step. Now this used to be a Twitter block, but Twitter got deprecated. And as you probably already know, it's called X. Therefore, there's like a whole situation there where in order to access the API, it's a little wonky. So we're gonna use buffer to make this tweet. Action event, add to queue. Select your account. For context buffer, it's free to use. Whole other software. It's like a social media scheduler. I know there is a ton of those, but this one connects with X. We're gonna choose our X profile here. And here we go. We can actually make our tweet. So for the first step of this tweet, I'm gonna actually take the chat from bump ups here, scroll down and we'll do the output. There we go. Next thing I'll do is I can add like fixed text here, like watch video, add semicolon, and then put in the link from the trigger, youtube.com URL. In addition, we can even add the tweet itself of the timestamps. Now in theory, we could upload the video through an automation as well and have the timestamps associated with that X tweet. So I can come over here to timestamps and we'll say timestamp list, that's fine. And we'll do timestamps here. Bubbles also has the ability to give you creator hashtags that we could add to this X as well to get more exposure. For now though, for the media, it's pretty cool is we can do an image here and we'll be able to add our underlying thumbnail URL. So the image option available here, we're gonna add here, new video, and let's get the high res. We're gonna do max res here, y'all, because I don't know about you, but we don't need 240p or 120p. We need that 1080p, preferably 4K, but 1080p, for the thumbnail. The option we're gonna choose here is max res URL, add to queue, or we can just schedule the post right now. So maybe if you wanna schedule this later, you can, but if you wanna do it right when the video is triggered and your video is uploaded, we'll choose share now. Continue, and let's see this X. Where am my X profile? I went ahead and reformatted the timestamps a little so it's line by line, but for now, we've successfully created a personalized tweet that actually watched the video, got a thumbnail to the video. We also have a link to the video all done automatically through Zapier. Lastly, I'll make sure to leave this in the description down below. You can click it, nice little template for free. That just about does it, y'all. If you felt like you learned something, make sure to leave a like. That's also free. I'll make sure to do more videos like this. I plan on diving a little deeper into Zapier, automations, AI, no coding, all that good stuff. Without further ado, those are two random videos. That is my face, and I'll see you in the next video.